not going to do it alone. I'm going to be right here to help you, okay? And so I'm going to need you to follow my advice because if you want this video to work, then you got to work with me, okay? Okay. So, I know it sucks, but the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is sit up, okay? We don't want you falling back asleep because it's so easy to keep laying down and close your eyes and boom, you lost a big chunk of time and the less time you give yourself to get ready, the more anxious you're going to be. You know it's true, so sit up for me, okay? Just lean up against your headrest or the wall or whatever you got, okay? Do it. Okay, I'm going to trust you, alright? Okay. What you might notice, starting about now, this is going to be a breathing exercise, okay? In for 7, out for 11, to help you with any anxiety you might be feeling, okay? So just breathe along with that, and I'm going to keep talking. So, the breathing is to help you relax, not fall asleep. So, if you didn't sit up, sit up, okay? Alright, here's the thing. I know that you're kind of freaking out. I don't know if it's work or school or an interview or appointment, but now is the time to get up. I know that it sucks, and I know that maybe you're thinking about skipping, but let me tell you right now that if you skip today, you might feel a couple hours of relief and everything, but then you're going to get hit with a lot more anxiety. Do you know what I mean? Whatever you need to do today, it's here to benefit you. If it's school, like, hey, you need to get that diploma, you need to get that degree. If you need to go to work, then you need to get that paycheck so that you can be happy and stable. And if it's an appointment, you know, that's, that's for your health, mental or physical or for whatever else it could be for. It's important. And there's a reason that you uh, are waking up right now, you know? so. There's a benefit to it, and you're going to feel a lot better that you got it done and it's over with than if you skipped. So, it's going to happen. You're going to be okay. You're going to get through it, and it's going to be over before you know it. It's not forever, okay? It's just for a little bit, and then you're going to get home, and you can just chill out, okay? So, I want you to pick something to be a little reward for getting it all done, okay? So, it can be watching that new episode of The Walking Dead, if you haven't watched it yet. Could be a different show, it could be a nice little can of tea on your way home, it could be just a little snack, it could be a nice bath. Just think of right now, just a little reward that you got through everything, okay? Okay. And uh, I know that there's maybe a lot of shoulds, like, oh, you should have gone to bed earlier, or you should have... You know, you shouldn't have to deal with this, you shouldn't have to deal with the stress, you shouldn't have to deal with the way people might treat you wherever you're going. There's a lot of shoulds, a lot of shoulds, and, and you're right. You shouldn't have to deal with any sort of BS. And But you know, the, the important thing here is that thinking about how it shouldn't be this way, how you shouldn't have to deal with this, that doesn't help you fix the problem. It keeps you stuck in this space where you're so busy, you're just trying to wish the problem away that you're just stuck in it, and it's going to affect you worse and for longer because you're trying to resist it. So, let's just accept that it is what it is. It's time to wake up, sit up if you haven't yet, and you got to get this thing done, okay? But it's, it's not going to be as bad as you think. So, let's figure out ways to make it more manageable, and that's honestly going to be a lot better for you than just getting stuck about should this, should that, you know, things like... If you hear the word should, then it's probably just keeping you stuck in one place, okay? So you already know what might be upsetting about where you're going. Maybe people suck at school, maybe your boss is mean, whatever it is. Whatever is like what you're worried about the most, the thing that's stressing you out the most, okay? And if it's another person, as personal as it may seem, it's, it's not. Everybody is looking at other people through their own filter, their own viewpoint, their own experiences. And then when they choose to hurt another person, it's through their own view that, hey, this person deserves it or I have the right to do this thing. And it's entirely to do with them and their viewpoint and everything is just getting filtered. It has, it has nothing to do with you, really. 
It has nothing to do with your worth, your value, or your competence, or anything. It's entirely to do with them. And yes, some people do have, you know, relevant criticism, but if they're doing it in an aggressive way, you know, you don't need to take that personally, because it's entirely to do with their thoughts and their point of view. And you don't have to deal with that, honestly. Like, you, you know, if you know, you know what might suck about where you're going, so you can prepare yourself for it instead of feeling paralyzed by it. You know, the thing that freaks us out about anxiety is that we don't know what we would do in that situation. It's like, what am I going to do if this happens? What am I going to do if that happens? So let's think about it and prepare for it, you know? So if you're worried about your boss or your coworkers or people who suck at school, then just just know that it's, that it's a very high possibility or maybe, you know, whatever possibility. Uh, level that it might be, then we're going to prepare for it and just put up some shields, okay? We're just going to put up some shields because you don't need to deal with their BS. Because screw them. You don't have to deal with it. If people are like bullying you at school, like I'm not saying ignore it and not stand up for yourself, but I'm saying like, you know what? If someone's like, hey, this person said something about you, just be like, okay, like, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Because whatever they're saying, it's entirely to do with them and their viewpoint, entirely to do with their own filter, their own problems, and you just be like, okay, you know what, prepare for it. If you know something's gonna go down, just put up your shields. Just let it wash over you. Don't take into what they're saying. It's not really about you. It's about them and their own issues and everything and they're just taking out on you. And that sucks, but you know what? It doesn't have to bother you because it has nothing to do with you. Just put up your shields, okay? Just put up your shields. You're gonna be just fine. I'm on your side. You're gonna come back. I'm gonna be here waiting for you, chilling. It's gonna be just fine, okay? Everything's gonna be okay. You're gonna handle it. You're gonna do it. And you know what? I wanna tell yourself if you're freaking out about lack of sleep or something, don't count up the hours. Or if you already did, then just tell yourself, I got eight hours of sleep. And every time you think about it, just be like, I got eight hours of sleep. The trick that I use, and instead of focusing on the number, just be like, you know what, I got eight hours of sleep, and kind of a little bit of a cognitive placebo effect, but no need to worry about it. You got eight hours of sleep, didn't you? How many hours of sleep did you get? Eight. Good. <laughs> you're gonna get through this, you're gonna get out of bed, you're gonna get as much done hygienic-wise as possible, shower, brush teeth, brush hair, whatever, don't forget your morning meds if you have any that you need to take. Breathe, keep breathing with the exercise up here overlaid. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna kick ass. It's all gonna be good. I'm rooting for you. I'm proud of you. I believe in you. You got this. You got eight hours of sleep and you can handle this. It's not gonna last forever. You're gonna come back. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna get it done. It's gonna be done before you know it. And you're gonna be good. You're gonna do great. Prepare for anything that you're stressed out about. It's like, you know what? If you know that something's going to happen, if you know that something is going to suck, you know it's going to happen, so don't just let it hit you with no no armor on. Just, just prepare for it. Brace yourself, okay? You're going to be great. You're going to be fine. I love you. I'm proud of you. Go kick ass, okay? Okay. Get out of bed. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Get out of bed, okay? I'm actually, I'm not going to leave until you get out of bed, okay? Stand up, yawn, rub your eyes if you need to. Stand up, don't go back to sleep. Just get out of bed, okay? Stand up, breathe, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be just fine, all right? Okay, go on, get ready. Get done what you need to get done. You're gonna be okay, all right? You got eight hours of sleep, you're gonna be okay. All right, okay, go on, go kick ass.